Welcome to A Level and AP Physics, a place where you can improve your understanding of physics with confidence. In today's class, we will talk about first law of thermodynamics and then we will apply this law to solve past paper questions from Cambridge A2 Physics. For this question, it is given to us that the first law of thermodynamics can be represented by the expression and you can see expression is given here. Part A is simply asking us we need to state what is meant by the symbols in the expression. Simply we need to explain these symbols. Delta U, let's try to understand first of all what delta U is telling us. Delta U simply represent change in internal energy. When internal energy of the system increase, let's say internal energy of the system increase, then we use positive sign in front of delta U. And when internal energy of the system decrease, we use negative sign in front of delta U. Now, let's try to understand what Q is telling us. Q is thermal energy. When thermal energy is added to the system, we use plus sign in front of Q and when thermal energy is removed from the system we use negative sign in front of Q. Let's try to understand W now. W represent work done. Work done is positive if work is done on system. So we use plus sign in front of W and if work is done by system we use negative sign in front of W. Work done on system we can also understand if a gas is compressed then work done is positive. On other hand if the gas expand work done on system is negative. So this is all what we need to understand about these symbols. If we have understanding of these symbols now then we can simply write down our answer for part A. Now as you can see here delta U is asking us the question is asking us what is delta U and this is positive. It simply means increase in internal energy. Now the next one is plus Q. It simply means when heat energy is transferred to the system and del plus W is telling us when work is done on the system. Let me show you the answer. This is how you can write your answer for this question. For part B1, question is telling us that during the chain from A to B, as you can see here, A is here and B is here. During this chain means from A to B, it is also given to us that the amount of energy supplied to the gas by heating is 442 joules. As this energy is supplied, it simply means that energy has been added to the system. So simply we can say this is plus Q. Question is asking us we need to use first law of thermodynamics and we need to show that internal energy of the gas increases by 265 joules increases it simply means that delta u has to be positive as this question is asking us we need to use first law of thermodynamics let's write down equation for this law delta u is equal to q plus w and value of q is given to us in the question as you can see here this is 442 joules and this is positive because heat is supplied to the system so simply we can write down this is 442 joules but value of w is not given to us but we can calculate from this figure 2.5 one. We simply understand work is equal to work done by gas is simply equal to P times delta V and if we look at this point A at this point value of P is given and if we go from A to B value of P is not changing means P is constant and value of P is equal to 5.2 times 10 to 5 simply we can write down this is 5.2 times 10 to 5. Next, we need to find out value of delta V and value of V at point B. This is 5.0 and value of V at point A. This is 1.6 and we need to multiply 
with 10 to negative 4 as you can see here if we simply multiply and solve this one this is our answer so this is value of w but now we need to find out is this value is work done is positive or work done is negative if you go from a to b you can see the volume is increasing it simply means that the gas expands when gas expands it means work is done by gas work is done by gas and work done by gas is taken as negative so simply we need to plug in here 177 if we solve this one our final answer will be 265 joules and this is the change in internal energy as the sensor is positive so this is the increase in internal energy this is what question was asking us we need to show that the increase in internal energy is 265 joules for this part it is given to us that during the change from b to c internal energy of the gas decreases by this amount we need to consider energy of molecules and we need to state and explain the change if any in the temperature of the gas so the first thing we need to understand is that as we are talking about ideal gas and for ideal gases potential energy of molecules is equal to zero so this is the first point we need to understand now the second thing what we need to understand is that as we are talking about ideal ideal gas so it means the internal energy of the gas is simply depending on kinetic energy of molecules as it is given to us that internal energy of gas decreases it simply means that kinetic energy of molecules decreases and if kinetic energy of molecules decrease it means temperature of the gas will also decrease so this is what we need to understand now if we have understanding of this one one, then we can write down our final answer so this is how you can write down your answer so the first point we have mentioned no molecular tension energy second internal energy decreases so kinetic energy of molecules decreases as kinetic energy of molecules decreases so temperature of the gas decreases for third part simply we need to consider the change from c to a and we need to use data from b1 and b2 to calculate the change in internal energy this is based on one very important concept let me explain to you that concept first and then we will answer this question concept is very simple that in any closed cycle delta u is equal to zero now if you look at this pv diagram you can see if i go from a to b then from b to c and then from c to a so this will form a closed cycle so this is over closed cycle we can simply write down for this closed cycle the total change delta u we can simply say delta u from a to b plus delta u from b to c plus delta u from c to a this has to be equal to zero in part b1 we have already calculated delta u from a to b and that was 260 5. from b to c it is given to us here so and this is negative because internal energy decreases so we can plug in this value and for this question we need to calculate delta u from c to a now if we simply solve this one we will get delta u from c to a means the change in internal energy this is equal to 40 8 joules and this is over answer for the last part it is given to us that temperature of the gas at point a is 227 degrees celsius and we need to calculate the number of molecules in the gas now if you look at this pv diagram at point a we can read the value of p from y-axis and value of volume of the gas we can read from x-axis let's write down first of all what is given to us in this case temperature is given to us that is 220 
27 degrees Celsius and value of P we can simply read from Y axis and that is 5.2 times 10 to 5 Pascal and volume we can just read from X axis and value of volume is 1.6 times 10 to negative 4 cubic meters. Question is simply asking us we need to find the number of molecules we can also write down here. As we know in this question we are talking about ideal gas and for any ideal gas PV is equal to NKT. As you can see here we need to find out value of N but we have value of P, we have value of V, we also have value of T and K is a constant we can find out value of this one from data table so this is constant but one thing we need to be careful temperature must be in Kelvin and then we simply need to use the formula to find value of n this is how you can do calculations you can see this is value of p this is p and this is value of v and this is over k means this is constant and this is how we have converted temperature in kelvins then just simply you need to plug in values in your calculator and you can find value of n means you can calculate number of molecules